This is the children's Sunday school lesson for August the 8th in 2021. We do a little bit of an advertisement here. We're going to have Vacation Bible School the week of the 16th, which is a week from now. It's going to go 16th to 20th. It's going to be from 5.30 to 8 in the evening. It'll all be outside unless it pours down rain. Um, hope you all can come. If you need a ride, just give me a call or call the church. Um, it's going to be a great week. We're going to study about Elijah. Okay, this is the Children's Sunday School lesson, and it is the woman at the well. And in those days, in Jesus' days, there was Judea, Samaria, Galilee. And most people would walk from Judea across the Jordan River and go up the other side and then come into Galilee because they didn't want to go through Samaria. But on this day, Jesus and his disciples needed to get up into Galilee and he said, we must go through Samaria. So he had an appointment, didn't he? So he's headed up through Samaria and he comes to the place where Jacob's well was and he sits down by the well and he waits. And the disciples go off to find some food for lunch because it's about noon. And a woman comes and he says to the woman, could I have a drink of water? And she says, oh, wait a minute. You're a man. I'm a woman. Men don't ask women for drinks. You are a Jew. I'm a Samaritan. They don't even talk to each other. Why are you asking me for a drink? And Jesus said, if you knew who I was, you would ask me for living water. And that water would come up in you like a big fountain right into eternal life. And she said, now, wait a minute. You don't even have a cup. You don't have a pot. You have nothing to drop down into the well. How can you have this living water? And he says, if you drink the water I give you, you will never thirst again. Well, then give me some of the water. That sounds like good stuff. He says, yeah, first of all, call your husband. I don't have a husband. He says, you're right when you say that. You have been married five times, and the man that you're with now isn't even your husband. And she said, I figure out you must be a prophet. So since you're a prophet, since you know God so well, how about if I ask you a question? We Samaritans think you should worship in the mountain. You Jews think we should, you should worship down in Jerusalem, which is right. And Jesus said, there's a time coming that it won't matter where you worship what's going to matter is if you are in the spirit and if you're worshiping in truth and she said um i know the messiah is coming someday he's going to come and jesus said i am the i am i am the messiah <gasps> you are she leaves her water pot. She runs back to town. She says, come see a man who told me everything I have ever done. The people in town knew what things she had done. They came racing to see. In the meanwhile, the disciples came back and they said, eat Jesus. And Jesus said, I've eaten already. Well, how did you eat? We didn't bring you any food. He says, I have food to eat that you don't know of. He says, my food is to serve God. Huh. And then the woman came. And you were talking to a woman? What? What? And all the people in town came and Jesus talked to them. And in the end, the people from town said to the woman, in the beginning, we just came because we wanted to see somebody who knew everything about you. But now we believe because we've heard him for ourselves. This was found in John chapter four and the memory verse is John 20, 31, which says, but these are written. That means John wrote down these stories, the stories that are in John, but these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of God, and that by believing you might have life in his name. Do it with me again. But these are written 
that you might believe, take it out of your head, put it in your heart, believe that, see the that, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that by believing, take it out of your head, put it in your heart, you might have life in his name. Dear Father God, we want that bubbly water called the Holy Spirit to be living inside of us so that when people come close to us, they might get a drink of you. In Jesus' name, amen.